Well, it seems to be working again. I'm not sure if it's because of anything I did or <laughs> God knows what. Anyway, uh, I've carbonated a couple things since putting it back together and no problem. Um, <laughs> here are all the screws left over. There's a lot of screws in this thing. And honestly, it holds together just fine without all of these. So don't feel the need to uh, go crazy when you're reassembling yours. Um, keep in mind that for proper functioning, the valve actually relies on the pressure generated by the, uh, the carbonator. So make sure all your uh, seals are really well sealed and everything's mating properly, blah, blah, blah. Uh, you might even want to put in hot water to uh, accelerate the, uh, the reaction. Perhaps that might even be a factor, I don't know. Um, yeah, that's about all I can think of. Oh, when, you, when you're reassembling those uh, tubes into some of the, the various things, there was that one valve I was soaking in the last video, and I pointed out there were these O-rings that you didn't want to lose. Anyway, if you want any hope in hell of getting those tubes back in the valve gizmo, uh, don't just try and stick it in with the O-rings. Like, take out the O-rings, put the O-rings on the tube, and then you can easily get the tube in. But uh, much, much harder if you try and push the tube into the O-rings when the O-rings are in the valve, if you follow my drift. There you go. We'll see how long it works. And of course, I'm almost out of carbonate, official carbonator, so I'll be switching to uh, homemade at some point, and uh, I can't imagine that's going to be an issue as much as they'd like to uh, have you think it is. Thanks for watching.